at Anstey's today with Beck and we've got a recliner in front of us. What model is this? This is our Donatello lift chair. So it's an Alivio range, which is exclusive with Anstey's. Um, so it's a little bit different to most of the other recliners that we generally stock because it does have these lateral back supports. So this particular chair, you can it's got interchangeable backrests. So right. you can have three different backrests on it. So you can have the lateral support. It's actually got one that's a high backrest, so it comes up a little bit higher. And then it's got just your standard three roll back support. Right. So, so an occupational therapist has lots of different options of being able to match this to someone's postural needs, whether they're needing that lateral stability, if they're leaning one way or another, um, but also in terms of height and comfort through the back as well. Yeah, and they yep. make a, a petite version as well. So if somebody is that little bit smaller, they do make a smaller version of this chair with all the same backrest options. Yep, yep. fantastic. Mm. And then before we were recording, we are just noting that on this model with the lift feature, and I'll lift the chair up now, a lot of recliners simply tilt in space and more just push forward. This model tilts, but at the same time lifts. And that gives a more natural sit to stand function, noting that when somebody is moving from sitting to standing, it's a combination of forward horizontal movement, but also vertical lift. And it's a nice design feature of this model. And you can't see it as well from the front side, but I'm sure in our editing we'll Put a little side feature here of looking at how that moves of a vertical lift but also a horizontal and it's just a more comfortable movement for somebody that if they're living with uh, loss of strength that will be more supportive on their lower limbs another feature that this has and let's see how quickly i've learned the features of this remote when the leg lift rises there's actually a small spreader bar included in the footrest Often when a leg piece extends, people's lower limbs may start to slide off the edge. And that's just because of the change of the knee angle from the seated position out. This naturally spreads and keeps the foot on that lower piece there, which is a really nice design function as well. So it's a well thought out um, design recliner. Yeah. And it also has your lumbar adjustable lumbar button, right. your adjustable headrest, yep. which is all individual. So you can bring the headrest alone, especially for those people that um, often don't have the strength in their neck. So yep. it just helps adjust all different areas. Of and that's like from a, an OT, occupational therapist, physiotherapist point of view, we're thinking maybe somebody's living with kyphosis. They might have osteoporotic fractures in their back or some natural curvature changes, scoliosis. That will push the head forward. And if the headrest is not independently movable, that may not be able to be a comfortable position for them. So it's another really yeah. nice feature. Yeah. Does it come in different fabrics or this is the only type of fabric but different colours? So this particular chair only comes in this merino one with the three different backrests that you can have a look at and purchase one of those. But we do have another option, which is the Canyon. So the Canyon's that darker colour over there. The Canyon only comes with a lateral backrest. Okay. So it's a really nice sort of micro suede fabric um, and it's still a fabric so we can scotch guard either of those for those yeah. that may need it or you can always put a waterproof overlay, water overlay yeah. on there as I well. I think it's a, you know, if, if models don't have a lot of different colour choices, this sort of, you know, more neutral tone is a nice thing for someone's home and yeah. it sometimes sounds a bit strange talking about aesthetics but once we get a lot of the performance and functional needs of a chair right it really sometimes comes down to aesthetic it does in terms of quality of life you, somebody might be spending quite a lot of their time in this chair and in their home environment we know that well-being is very much linked to feeling comfortable in your home having good lighting but also nice a nice color scheme for yeah. your eyes as well so those things are quite meaningful and we as therapists and equipment suppliers we know how important that is and take the time to understand people's preferences Anything else you'd like to touch on? No? I think that's pretty comprehensive. Thanks so much for your time. We'll see you in the next episode.